There's a recent study suggesting it's, you know, showing it's genetic, but from a previous episode I did, episode I did like we were talking about how, yeah, it's genetic, but also it's, you know, you know the environment and our diet and lifestyle that can also trigger it off. So did you like find what caused it for you personally? Yeah, you know, it's, I always say that diseases are death by a thousand cuts. And in science, there's a study, or there's a, a scientific, um, I guess, research that's called epigenetics. And all that means is how your environment uh, brings out or turns on certain genes. And in epigenetics, they found that about 80% of, uh, of your genes you have control over. 20% is just genetic, 80% is your environment that will turn on or turn off those genes. That's pretty crazy because 80% of control over if genes turn on and off, that's crazy. So, you know, polycystic ovarian syndrome, autoimmune diseases, they are, they do have a genetic component, but genes are turned on and off by an environment. It's not, um, you know, and to me, that's culpable, right? Because that means we have the power to turn our genes on and off. Now, some people, they don't like that. They like to be a victim. They like to say, well, it's just my genes. It's just my genes. And I'm sorry, but it, it it's not your fault. It's, it's definitely not your fault. We have no idea until it happens, but we do have a lot of control over their, if genes get turned on and off. And within seven years, our body is completely new, brand new. Meaning that if we just keep consistent, seven whole years, we can completely change every single cell that our body is built up of. But my PCOS and autoimmunity was brought on by a multitude of things. So I had um, the adrenal issues, you know, HPA axis dysfunction, so I was very, very stressed out. I had the thyroid issues, so that was a contributing factor. Um, I also had inflammation and gut issues, which is a huge factor. And then I did have the insulin resistance due to having very, very low estrogen and very, very low progesterone. So I had like the quadruple whammy, which I actually see in many of my PCOS girls. And, um, you know, the adrenal imbalances, the thyroid issue, the gut issue, the liver detoxification, meaning like I, I put that in the gut issues. Their livers aren't detoxifying properly and then their gut's messed up. And so there's really a lot of inflammation going on and that will cause insulin resistance because your body's stressed out. Mm. So that was my personal story, but not everyone has that same quadruple whammy. Yeah, exactly. And like what you said, um, how when you say, oh, it's based on genetics, everyone's like, oh, takes that victim kind of mindset and just says, oh, well, I've just got to live with it for the rest of my life, obviously. Right. But like from your journey, my journey, like and others who have overcome it, yeah, it's genetic, but you don't have to live with it. You can overcome it. You just got to be consistent with your diet, lifestyle and all this other stuff to make the necessary changes to overcome it naturally. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely.